Hello. And welcome back to the Crooked Man. We pushed him in a hole. We should be fine now, right? Somehow I doubt it. Uh, can we get in the bathroom? Uh, if that's the case, what else do we do? We should probably save. Because the majority of last time was spent... Um... Uh, what? Was spent trying to catch back up. Damn it. There's blood on the floor. God damn it. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Come to me. I'm waiting for you. Wait, I can't leave you alone and come to you at the same time. Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written this? I'll push you in a hole! Oh, he don't look too good. Why? I dropped you down a pit! Crap, I gotta do something. What am I supposed to do? I would die. I would die. I would die! Ah, throw the glass at him! Nope, that's not happening. I'll be caught if I go in there. Am I just supposed to run from him this time? I don't know. Speaking of inconsistent. Good thing I saved. Squish. Somebody stepped out of grape. God damn it. I don't know where to go from here. Where do we go from here? Blag. Blag. I can run around these tables real good, but that's not helpful. Fuck it, I'm going for it. Nope. That, that's the that's the nope right there, good buddy. So what do I do? Let's look around when I get in there before I look at the message. Oh what God every time. Few wine bottles seem to be full. Brandy. It's got tons of alcohol on it. I might just catch fire if I drink this. Seriously? Guess I'll try that. Blarg! The yeah, I could be a scary monster too. I didn't see what it said. I was so... <laughs> I guess that won't do much alone. What else can I do? Light it on fire. Oh yeah! Now that he's covered in alcohol, he should be plenty flammable. Hey, bitch! Flick flick! <laughs> I hope Sissy wasn't out there. He ran away. What the hell is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? I might need something to defend myself. Even just a knife could really help. Is there one of those around? Yeah, the fruit knife that I tried to uh, pick up multiple t multiple times. The thing that sucks about that is you hit the directional button for a door, it will go in. W same with the use key. So, yeah, that's what that double thing is. If you hold forward, it'll just go through the door over and over again. I saw it. You didn't have to point it out. A fruit knife? Maybe I should take it. Just for self-defense. Just in case. Ice blood. B blood? This wasn't here earlier. Did, did something happen to Sissy? I told you to leave. Sissy. Oh. The door is unlocked. 
Sissy, are you okay? What are you doing here? Whoa! Your arm's bleeding! So it was your blood. Were you hurt? My arm caught something. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. That's a lot of blood. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resting here, right? What if you've got anemia? I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. Give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief, so I can at least try to wrap it up. I guess this is better than nothing. Does it hurt? It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. You don't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly. It's silly that I'm wandering this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm, all to find some measly box. Falling in holes? What? Measly? But it's important to you, right? A memento from your boyfriend. Well, he's my ex, to be exact. Huh? He left me quite a while ago, but while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. That was when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here just brought back all those memories. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he's a, he appreciated my kindness, but when we broke up, he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. That's not fair. Sorry, I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a while longer. I'm a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, and here, I found this. Not sure where it goes, though. Received a key to... somewhere. Thanks. But don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. Goodbye! The dress is... I'm gonna look through your shit. Looks like the bathroom. Why are you always like this, David? Like... Like what? You're always such a yes man. Just going with the flow. Do you even have a personality? I don't mean to. I mean, I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. You treat anyone else the same way, right? That's why I can't trust you. Look, please, just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm a pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again. Thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word that I'm saying. Th then what should I do? You just don't trust me, is that it? Maybe it's hopeless for us. It doesn't even seem like she's trying. I hate for it to end this way, but I think we should both go our... We would both be worse off staying together any longer. It's nice that she's making the decision for both of you. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. Wait! We can talk this out? Surely! I mean... Is he upset with her because she did that? And that's why he won't talk to her when she called him? Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I, wow. Sissy and I are the same like that, timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. Wonder if Sissy felt that way too. Well, time to save. Now, where does this go? I'm trying to remember where the last keyhole would be. That's not painted over. Wait. 
Did I open this one yet? Use the unknown key on the unknown door. Ooh, fancy. Something's in the fountain. There's her box. A box. Maybe this is the one Sissy lost. Got it. Must be. It's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it away here or what? Man, I'm glad I found it. I'll get this to Sissy pronto. Sounds good to me. I mean, what the fuck are we going to do with it, right? Oh, Sissy! Huh? Did Sissy leave already? But she's wounded. <whistles> fuck! Sissy! Sissy, scream for me! I don't know where she is. Wait, basement maybe? No. Sissy? Fuck. Ah, well, there's the monster I was talking about. No, oh, no, stay away. Stop right there. Back off, monster. Yeah, because that's going to work. David? Damn it. Didn't think that there, did you? Sissy, get out of the hotel. David, what are you... I said, run away. I'll take care of this. Hey, monster. I don't know what the hell you are, but don't lay you a finger on sissy. Oh, here's your box, too. Let's save here, just in case. Uh, okay, this is weird. Ow. Ah! Is it that lovely grin on your face? Please tell me I got him. David? Ah! Well, I'm bleeding now. David! David, are you okay? Nah, I'm just almost dead, that's all. Yeah. I don't think it'll chase us anymore. But never mind me. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm not hurt. You were bleeding. But... Sissy, what's wrong? Are you feeling well? Why? Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did that horrible monster attack me? I did try to warn you. I... I just didn't want to forget him. I just... wanted to have my memory of him at least. Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can I... Can I not even love him? No, I hate it. Someone, somebody help me. Well, I got your box. Sissy... And it's also not your fucking fault. Yeah, what's wrong with being a wimp? Huh? You may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him, but is that such a bad thing? David? You know, I was dumped a few months ago, too. I was sure we were going to get married. You too? I was dejected. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance. I couldn't even be happy when my friend got married, and it made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you... I've come to think, 
Maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of someone. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I decided I wouldn't give up either, and it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. David? This is your treasure, right? It's a pretty fancy box. Be ashamed to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you love will understand, and I know I'll always support you. Thank you, David. I, I'll try harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Hey, David? Did the box come with a key? A key? No, I didn't see one. Strange. The box needs a key to open, so... I didn't lock it. A key. Wait, hold on. The one that I had at my apartment. Maybe this brass key? <laughs> nah, of course not. Ah, yeah, that's the one. Where'd you find it? Really? I picked it up around here. I thought that was the one I found in my apartment. A key from my house. Oh, yeah, exactly. A key from my house opened Sissy's box? So the former tenant's involved with the box. What does that mean? I wonder why it's locked. Let's open it. Oh, there's a piece of paper. Oh, God, another one. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches with the notebook pages, which means he... I don't get it. But I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here? Seems that way. It has an address on it. Oh, dear God. Are you going there, David? Yeah. He wasn't here, so I'll check there next. Okay, be careful. I'll escort you home, sissy. It's dark out, after all. I'll be alright. Thanks, though, David. Well... Yeah, bye. Aw, how cute. I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other again sometime. Oh my. That, that surprised me. <laughs> but she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lingering scent of dreams. Is this an address? Maybe that's where he is now. I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I find him, I'll go anywhere. And it's the end of chapter one, or scene one. How many scenes are there? Eesh. Hotel Ruinheim. Sissy. End. I, I think that was a good end. Maybe not. Maybe it was horrible. I don't know. Well, here we are. Let me guess, it's a hospital. Man, this place was far. That took almost an entire day. So this is the place. Looks like a school. Ew. Looks like this school was abandoned. No one around, though I guess they'd be inside anyway. Let's see if I can even enter. Julius Stone Law School, set for demolition. Uh-oh, no entry. Hey, this is the school from that leaflet. And maybe he's here after all. Front door is open. Ooh, that that whistling of the wind. Exam results are posted here. Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Uh, I did get in. Men's bathroom. The women's bathroom. Janitor here? Nope. A memo about necessary repairs. Deep fissure in the wall behind the eastern bookshelf in the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. The crack again. A list of faculty. John, Andrew, Cindy, and Franz. Lefty, Ray, Eugene, and Stacy. Okay. Contains cleaning tools. I mean, what else would be in there? The infirmary is locked. Hopefully I don't get hurt. 
I'm sure I'll be fine. Faculty room. Oh, this system's open. The nameplate reads Stacy Lizzie. There's a key by it. Infirmary key. Well, what do you know? Trash can's overflowing, huh? A paper reads notice about keys. Room managers for the month don't lose the keys. Uh, so blah, 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 blah. People have certain keys. Good to know. Lined with magazines and the like. Magazines and the like. Reference books. What is this? Fire hydrant. That is not a fire hydrant. Maybe there's a fire hydrant in there, but it, it is in of itself is not a fire hydrant. That's a fire hydrant. That's what that is. Hmm. I mean, with medicine and such. Books about medical treatment and such. Found the parlor key in one of the drawers. Welcome into my parlor. Don't know where the parlor is, but I'm sure I'll find it. It's nice that I'm done with this floor. Time to go to the basement in the fissure? Doors are stubborn and won't open. Basement reference room. It's blocked from the other side. Storeroom is locked. So we need a storeroom key. A uh, hi? Was that someone there? I couldn't really see them in the dark. Hello? There's a paper about topics covered by an exam. Cool. Lefty Lewis. Box of tools. Screwdriver, crowbar, hammer. Man, I feel like a wrecking crew. Lots of books. Oh, wait, so much stuff. Draw drawers hold miscellaneous things. Miscellaneous things. Eugene. I, I don't think that's what that what that is, but yeah. Eugene's easy to say. It's open security box. Uh, was there a gun in there? Because that's not cool, man. It talks about events. Ooh, many sh oh, the vending machines don't work. I could have got a <coughs> pop. As some people call it. Computer room, probably locked. Yep. Parlor. Come into the parlor. What are these? What's this? Guess it's a it's wire art or something. Not sure what it's supposed to be though. Hmm. Apparently it was made by Ray Twain, one of the lecturers. Appears to be wire art. It says it's by was is it dash dot? Dash dot dash 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 dash. Is that Morse code? The clock has stopped. Anthologies and am emblems? <laughs> Albums line the shelves. All the emblems. What did I pick up? I have all those tools. Maybe I can force a door. Ray Twain. All right, what's up with your wire art, dude? It's like some sort of diary. Indeed, Law 2 needs a numeric representation. After all, basic things such as an on or off, zero or one, can represent much more complex numbers. Using the smallest elements to produce new things is a way of thinking I hold in high esteem, though perhaps it's more the artistic notion that captivates me more than the mathematics. Okay, so those are ones and zeros. Dashes and dots. Lots of books. Why does this law school have math books? Boy, I'm terrible at math. A bid. A binary number is made up of binary digits, also known as bits. What? So... One zero, so it's two. I don't remember what it was. I'm gonna have to go relook. But now we know that'll probably give us a code of some sort. A copy machine. 
Security box requires a passcode. Okay, I know how to get the passcode. Let's go handle that now before I forget. Because I will. Absolutely wrong one. Will. One zero one zero one. Okay. Everybody remember that one zero one zero one one zero one zero one. What was it again? God damn it! All right, two, five, seven, right? Or was that four? Two five seven one five. Or no, two five, seven or two five one five. Two five one five, most likely. Got it! I couldn't see what I just picked up. Reference key. I got the reference key. Okay, cool. Alright, what else we got here? Franz Moore. You know what? Let's save. Requires a password. Lots of books. What's your password? Some sort of diary. Everybody keeps a goddamn diary. I lost the note with my security box password, so I couldn't get into the computer room, and the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I had it when I was writing for a seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left the book somehow. Left it in a book somehow. I should go look. If I used my ID as a password like Andrew does, then I wouldn't forget, but that's risky. Of course, if you just use a random number, then you have my problem. Well, if you keep the random number on you, like a key, like a USB key, which I'm going back to doing and should have never stopped doing. Sorry, I, the time I'm recording this, it's when the truth about the last pass breach came out and I used the last pass because it was easier. Cindy Peterson. You can see why I'd be a little upset about that. Pass code. Michael's dissertation made it into an academic journal. I'm so happy for him. I knew when he joined my class he'd be a prodigy. I also realized he and I have the same birthday. I used my birthday as a security code, so I feel like maybe I should change it. Okay, so who? Uh, sorry. Michael. So I'm looking for Michael's birthday and a book in the reference room. Andrew Robinson. It's locked. John Keith. Event information. Documents are strewn on the desk. The key to the room is among them. John Keith's room, but I... In the room. Right? Lots of books. More books. Even more books. All the books! Some sort of notebook. Times are changing. Our existing laws cannot serve us anymore. We must surpass the father of our law to find the true answer. Okay. No idea what his passcode could be. Maybe the father of law? I don't know who that is. Alright, only place we could go right now, hi! Ow! Ow! Hey, who was that? Who do you be? What are you doing in this school? You shady punk. Sh shady punk? I'm just looking for someone. You shoved me out of the blue. Who are you? Give me a name or I'm calling the police on you. David Hoover. I'm looking for a guy who I think was here. I'm not a robber or anything. Hmm. You sure? As if a robber would say they were in one. This place is going to be demolished. Who cares if somebody robs from it? What, what do you want? A permit? Now, you tell me who you are if you're going to ask me. I'm D. I graduated from this school, so I came to bring back some memories. D. That's your name. Not actually the oddest one I've heard, but it's a nickname, dummy. You think I'd tell some shady guy my real name? <laughs> what a little brat. But I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. 
I'm just wandering, so don't mind me. Smell ya! What the hell is his problem? Didn't even apologize. He pisses me off. I agree. He really pisses me off. We're gonna have to save his life sometime, aren't we? Yeah. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. And this has been Boylag, signing off.